Good morning, YouTube. Here it is, the last day in February, and I almost, almost let the month of February go by without doing my Turd of the Month video. Now, again, what are the qualifications for Turd of the Month? Turd of the Month has to be a gun that is just... More or less, for a lack of a better term, a undesirable piece of junk. And uh, granted, some people will, will disagree with this. We all know who these people are. They just don't know any better. But the, to me, the turn of the month is a gun that just, there is no real use for it when there are so many better versions or examples out there. So that being said, today's turn of the month is the RG series of small caliber revolvers. 22, 23, the little tiny pot metal tin handguns that you see out there that for the most part, if they go for $100, that's a lot of money. Now, what is the story behind the RG revolvers? Okay, they were made by the firm of Rome Gesellschaft. They started in Germany. Now, everybody's like, oh, German quality, jump up and down, jump up and down. No, 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 stop that right there. The original firm of Rome made chucking tools for drills, face cutters, things like that. And they still to this day do make those. And they are fine quality. They started to make firearms, handguns particularly. And what happened was, is after the 1968 Gun Control Act came into effect, the import laws became to the point where they couldn't ship any handguns in, into the country. So they set up a firm in Miami and they started producing handguns there and they became known as RG Industries. And that's pretty much where the similarity or anything to do with the fine quality of Rome chucking tools ends. Because these handguns are a disaster of engineering. They, all the people say, well they work. Barely. Their biggest claim to fame is that John Hinckley Jr. used an RG-14 in 22 to try to assassinate Ronald Reagan. Well, first off, if you buy a gun or you're interested in a gun because somebody tried to assassinate a president with it, then you're, you're not all there to start with. You really are not all there. Um, especially given Hinckley was not all there, and still isn't, you know, mentally. But the thing is, if you buy a handgun, well, this is the type of handgun, you try to assassinate Ronald Reagan, then you have issues. Sorry, you, you do, you can say what you want, you have issues. But getting back to the handgun itself, most of them you see, usually you don't even find the gun. Usually if you go on Gun Broker, you will find more parts for an RG revolver than you will find the handguns. Because they are notorious for breaking. They are built to shoot a few rounds. I've heard people have said if you get 100 rounds through one, you're lucky. They're, they're garbage. They're junk. They're pot metal. If you look at the right side of the gun, which is usually where the screws are, they look like they were put together with simple screws like you'd use a, for... They're not even gun screws. They're usually a Phillips head. And they're a machine screw. And 90% of the time, you'll see the heads are stripped on them. And it's not because somebody used the wrong screwdriver. It's because the screws themselves are so lousy. Either taking apart or putting them back together, the, the screw heads end up just getting stripped out. And the actions themselves are beyond belief a horrible disaster and they're they're just garbage they're junk and they were made i know they they made them in the starting in the 1970s and they ceased operations in miami in 1986 there's no way to know how many they exactly made because they made a series of them there's the rg10 the rg12 the rg14 there is a whole series of them i'm not going to list them all here because there really isn't a point they were in 22 they were in 32 and a couple of other calibers but they were designed, even when they were new, to be a cheap, dispensable, 
throwaway type handgun, not put it this way, they were the high point of their day. One of the uh, one of the high points, or a design like it. The, the only difference is the high point actually from what some people say works. The RGs, for the most part, if you find them, I, I, the last one I actually held in person, the finish, I don't know if that was the original finish or not, because the, the, the metal was so badly polished and so badly just, the, the tool marks on it, it looked like somebody built it in their garage. And the, one of the problems with the RGs is they have been the genesis a lot of the Saturday night special legislation. A police officer who was wounded during the attempt on Ronald Reagan sued RG Industries in that the gun was a cheap design. Of course now the officer lost and rightfully so. It's not it's not the, the fact again of the gun but it's the problem is that this piece of crap started the entire legislation and it is a piece of crap. The RGs are an absolute junk pile of of engineering, and they're just not worth. But this way, if you find one for a hundred dollars, go find something else. Save up your money. You know, buy. You know, if you can get, if you scratch a few more dollars together, get like a Polish P sixty four, something like that. Anything other than RG. If you have to have a twenty two. Get something like a North American Arms little 22 single action revolver. The quality is light years ahead of any RG revolver. And if you really, really, really can't afford something more than 100 or 120 dollars, something like that, I dare say buy a Cobra Derringer because they at least seem to work. They at least, from what I've seen, they're in 22. They will at least do the job and fire more than a few rounds before something comes apart. And at least they at least look like somebody professionally put them together. The RG series revolvers, the RG 12, 10s, 14s, whatever, they all look like somebody just took a piece of metal, a few pieces of metal, on a file, on the cheapest machinery possible, and slapped it together. And if if you shoot it long enough, that's exactly how it works because eventually it'll break. So, this is a quick little thing of the turd of the month for the month of February. Just snuck it in under the wire, but it is what it is. So, that again, folks, is the turd of the month. The RG series, the Rome Gesellschaft series of revolvers, made by RG Industries from the mid-1970s and 1986. Avoid them like a bad case of crabs. Stay right away from them. Have a good day, folks.